everybody, today I want to talk to you about uh, remagnetizing the original magnets that come with Hornby X04, X03 and Ren. Now back in 2004 the advice was to change over to Super Neo magnets. However, these are extremely strong and there's a lot of people saying now that the bearings of the motors will suffer. Plus it's an absolute pain when things keep sticking to the side of the locomotives. So I decided that something needed to be done. And then I came across a marvellous uh, remagnetizer made by a chap called Ronald Dodd, who has his own YouTube channel that I'll show you at the end, uh, who manufactures these custom made for Hornby Double and, and other purposes. Uh, and despite it being relatively high investment initially, uh, I thought it sounded well worthwhile. Anyway, here's the parcel that you get, uh, all well wrapped up, and inside there's some of the things that you'll get with it which includes the power supply for the machine itself and mains lead, pole pieces, a little multimeter so you can measure the current, a compass which is really important for finding out the polarity of your magnets, test leads and a little link device that will connect in for your multimeter. So you might be asking why do you need to remagnetize your magnets? Well these old magnets do eventually lose their strength over time. Now it's in a very important part of how a motor works. Um, the electromagnet caused by the commutator and the power you supply to the track reacts against the permanent magnets and this is what causes your motor to spin. Now if the permanent magnets become weak you'll need more and more current energy to drive the armature. Uh, to cause it to spin. This causes a lot of heat within the motor itself, connections can begin to burn out and you just don't get the good performance that you would expect. So by having a nice powerful but not too strong magnet as your permanent magnet in your motor you get the best of all worlds. Anyway let's have a look at this machine in action. Let's do it with another little magnet. Full process that is. Completely Regardless. Um, well, let's have a look. There's its north pole. There's its south pole. Yeah. Slide into the machine. Not even got the strength to pull the pole pieces together at the moment. And then press for one second. One. And then press for another second. One. Now then, straight away, <coughs> I can't get it out of the machine. Now let's see what the same little magnet can do. Oh look! Remarkable how much power is lost over time. Brilliant. Thank you very much Ron. Nice machine. Bit of reverse engineering here. This West Country is suited with a neodymium magnet and uh, as you can see I'm slowly increasing the power at the moment. I can't really get a smooth start because the magnet is too much for the motor. Also the tender hook is pulled up by the magnet to the floor. So that's not ideal. But let's have a look. Here's the amp meter. So let's have a look when she's running. So that's around about 180 to 200 milliamps being drawn uh, with the neodymium magnet. So what we're going to do is remagnetize her original magnet which is here. Now let's see how strong it is currently. Pretty guys. So I just plug the magnetizer in, turn it charges up and we'll have a look at where the pole pieces are for this magnet. Now it's not across the flat end look, that's exactly in the middle. The poles are actually across on the curved edge of the magnet. So that's the south pole. So obviously there's the north pole, turn it around you'll see, south, north. Okay, so we need to put the north pole into the magnetizer. Like that. Now it's very hard to do um, holding the camera, so please excuse the fumbling. So 
there's the magnet in the magnetizer. Now I'm going to hit the charge and I suspect now, yes it's now sticking a lot better, that we get it nicely centralised between the two poles and give it its final blast. Now let's see how strong it is. Oh, look at that. No problem at all. So we're going to put the original magnet back into the West Country and see how she gets on. Okay, so the conventional original magnet is inserted, it's been recharged, as you've seen. So let's see about the controllability. Now look, we can now do a steady start. And the current, wow. That's nearly 200 milliamps at that little bit there. So, not too bad at all. Conventional recharge magnet, much smoother. She's running in some new motor brushes as well, so they'll probably be even better once they bed it in. And now we will look at remagnetizing a conventional magnet in an XO3. And hopefully without dismantling the motor too much. So we have the motor out of the engine. And the next step is to remove that bolt that goes through there, comes out the other side, and uh, we'll see how we get on. First of all, we need to establish the polarity of the magnet. Now, there we go. Top is north, bottom is south. North, south. So we need to put the north to the north on the machine, which is that pole piece there. And it's probably the case for most of these, the top will be north. So I have the motor between the pole pieces. I've slid the brush spring forward and we're gonna press the button. So that is the motor done. And we have a bit of a a magnet test yet, yeah. only a straight for that. Put it in the engine and we'll see how it does. So, the motor's back in the loco. And good smooth performance. Milliamps, about 230. It's perfectly okay for a loco of this type, especially with a big lump of lead that I have in there for ballast. So there we are. Now the only thing is of course I'm getting a lot of super powerful spare neodymium magnets and they are madly powerful. And it's felt that the power is putting too much strain on the motor bearings. And the locos seem to run better anyway, so there we go. Great machine, Ronald Dodd. Look him up on his YouTube channel. Make contact with him. There's a link there for uh, his uh, email address. You can ask him questions. He's really helpful, and uh, it's a love, a beautifully made machine. Very solid. Lasts a lifetime. I think so. Anyway, hope this has been interesting. Cheers then.